Well, we're here on a beautiful day in Florida on the Indian River Lagoon, one of the nation's uh, most important estuaries, right next to the most important sea turtle nesting area in the Western Hemisphere, the Archie Carr National Wildlife Refuge. I'm Dwayne DeFries, a uh, marine biologist by training. Uh, I live here in uh, Brevard County in Indy Atlantic. I've had over 30 years of conservation experience here in Florida. It's so funny to me when people hear that I left a, a state gift to the university. Uh, their first thought is, we didn't know you were that wealthy. And what's remarkable is you don't need to have personal financial wealth to do a deferred gift or an estate gift. What you need to do is to plan in advance. When you look at philanthropic gifts, you have two components. You have the capacity to give and the propensity to give. And the propensity part is really important. It's important not only for my gift, but anybody who gives thinks about what moves them. What are they passionate about? What are the things that, they, that have touched their lives or their careers or their families? And seeing how important sea turtle conservation in Florida is not only for the nation, but for the world. And so for me, this was a very easy decision, both from a business standpoint, but also from a heartfelt, goal to do something that is important to the university, to the environment, and to the state of Florida. And then it's really important if you want to give to a nonprofit or a university like University of Central Florida, you know, make that second call to a development officer at the university. You know, they can guide you through the process of different kinds of gifts, how to structure a gift, but the advice I have is that it's really easy to do it. Every donor needs to think about when to give, who to give to, and for me, at no time in our nation's history has been support for educational research and conservation research been more important. Uh, we are losing funding at federal, state, and local levels. Programs that are internationally, globally important are struggling to make ends meet. They're struggling to put gas in trucks. They're struggling to have boats that are proper boats for the kind of research they do. So the need is now. Getting those gifts in the pipeline, either today as a direct gift or in the future as a estate gift, are really important for planning. If we don't have good leadership decision making at a university on how these programs maintain their vigor, maintain their economic health, and most importantly, attract the very best and brightest students, then in effect, we will lose these programs. The fact is, this program needs money on a daily basis in order to have these graduate students and undergraduate students working throughout the sea turtle nesting season and beyond in order to do this work year in and year out. It's important that we begin to grow the economic support base of this program, attract the very best and brightest students to it with scholarships, and that's going to take money. So we're hoping that the public and donors interested in supporting UCF biology will look at the sea turtle research program as a program where you get not only your bang for the buck, but you'll be supporting a program that has global conservation significance.